Which character do I think is the hardest to streak with? I think this one. I think Defect is the toughest. Okay, none of these stand out is obviously better than Boss Swap. We don't have a forced early elite, so that tells me we're boss swapping here. We have the option for an early shop into an upgrade to fight an elite. We have the option for early shop into don't even fight the early elite. Could go for a late burning elite. In particular, I like this sequence of floors, but it's not required that we go here. If we boss swap into Busted Broken Crown, are we just hosed? <clears throat> We're in for a really bad time. It's not impossible to win with Busted Crown's start on a 20 heart on any of the characters, but it is a really, really bad time, and you are definitely at the mercy of the game. But any character can find stuff that's overpowered. We could get a broken Pandora's box at the end of Act 1, and then everything is fine. We can get really good rare relics like Pocket Watch or Dead Branch that can bail us out. There's, there's ways for a busted crown start to be winnable. And we've shown on this stream how to win a 20 heart busted crown with every character. But yeah, it is, it is bad. It's just not 0% win rate, but it is, it is bad for sure. Remove one's not horrible actually. Fighting guardian again. So I think if you were looking for just a, the mild but good positive, remove a card is great here. Duck one strike for you about your day. I think I want a boss swap, though. Yeah, somebody was saying, how rooting for a Pandora's box or an Astrolabe. We get an Astrolabe, and that's a very good start. Instead of dunking one strike, let's dunk two strikes and one defend. Turn him into some stuff. <clears throat> is Crown that much worse than Ectoplasm? Yes, it is. Ecto's not that bad. I think we go defend here. Oh, you'll love to see it. Seek plus. Say no more. Also some other stuff. Fusion is curious. Static discharge, actually pretty sweet. We recently had a run that totally won off of having a static discharge. Don't get a lot of rest sites this act, and that's fine, because we already have three upgraded cards. We just need one good damage card, really. So I think going to this early shop is great. Stock up on potions or whatever. Then we can even fight three elites if we wanted. Actually, we could do four elites. That is a possibility. More realistically, I'll probably want an upgrade on a damage card, and then we can do three elites, and that's, that's good. That's going to be a good start. I guess the only question is, do we want four combats or three combats at an event before the shop? Four combats does sound good. Hmm. By Zap Dualcast. Could hit them each one time, then we're in bad shape. Brian McCullough, thanks for the 20 months of support. We could also seek Fusion Defend, and I play Fusion Dual Cast. Then I can triple defend Zap. But then next turn is pretty bad, right? Hmm. Interesting. So I can full block this turn, but it seems like it's a bad idea. So maybe I should just seek for a strike then. Is it a Verstatic Discharge as the last card? That's an option, definitely. And we'd have three Lightning Orbs next turn, but we wouldn't break the curl up on any of them, which I don't love. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think I'm going to seek for Strike Fusion. Fusion, dual cast. Strike here, double defend, zap. Okay, we do take two more. I'm cool with. Might have been possible to save a couple hit points there. Here's a good attack, Doom and Gloom or Streamline. I like the Doom and Gloom quite a bit, although with Static Discharge Fusion, it's a little bit more awkward. Still really like Doom and Gloom. Hmm. What do I want to seek here? I guess Fusion Ascender's Bane, maybe. Play Defend, Defend, Fusion. Yeah, Fusion Ascender's Bane looks good. Then we draw all these cards next turn. We might take five if this thing attacks again. Are you even allowed to do that? Yeah, you are. Okay. But it's only 30% chance to attack again. I don't have a way to line up a kill next turn anyway. So yeah, just seek for Fusion Ascender's Bane. Taken five. I like it. Hmm. What about a chaos? Give us more orb generation of all kinds. Aggregate can be good later, but definitely not good now. I don't like claw now. <clears throat> so it'd be chaos or skip. I don't I don't hate chaos though. Don't hate it. Yeah, let's take Chaos. And then do we want an event or just more cards? I think with the Doom and Gloom, let's take more fights. I'm not afraid of four gremlins at all. I also owe the chat a dad joke, I see. My random orb. Cool. Oh no. That's not what I was hoping would happen. That's bad. All right, I guess I'll use this here. It's definitely not good, but we get some really good block here. We'll take a reinforced body, especially with a fusion in the deck already. I will love an X cost card. Recursion, not bad either, mind you. With these co with these orbs in general, but want some block. We're down one defend, right? Yeah, we are. Easy pool jaw worm strikes again. Yeah, and I've got three upgraded cards, too. <laughs> Heck. Okay, Doom and Gloom dual cast is a perfect solve here. Nice. No longer nice.
Hey there, fireworks. Did we finish Shogun Showdown already? Uh, we beat day seven with one of the characters, but I would like to play more. So, no, we have not finished it. But we have seen the end. That makes sense. Not a great defragment, but it is the first defragment. That's kind of important. Don't hate the streamline either. Aim Noir with 11 months of support. Sure. It's good that we got back to two potions, though. That was a good jawworm potion. Definitely. On sale machine learning is pretty cool. Probably, though, we buy the Sunder, right? There's our good attack. We upgrade the Sunder with a dupe pot, and that can kill anything, pretty much. Gremlin Knob is no threat, then. <clears throat> it's D33. Thanks for the 11 months as well. One away from uh, the full year. And then, yeah, we gotta upgrade that. Ow. Ow. Yeah, Dad Joe currently buffering. Brian. If I try to come up with one on the current situation, it's going to be pretty lousy. Don't need to hear that one again. Did I even need Sunder? Kind of. Buffering, just like the defect. Ooh, I like a second Doom and Gloom. Yes, this is a double Doom and Gloom kind of deck. Feels like it anyway. Let's do it. <clears throat> now we should be able to take on three elites, hopefully. We've got good potions for it. I think we can do it. First up, the knob. We just do the thing. Seems wise to just do the thing. Now the question is, can we kill on this turn? In any way, shape, or form? I don't think we quite can, can we? Zap dual cast strike deals 22. Doom and gloom dual cast also deals 22. We could seek dual cast, play fusion, dual cast. That would give us five energy. Then I could go defrag, zap, strike, doom and gloom, but that doesn't kill either. Yeah, it sure seems like a lot of not killing going on. Using the Seek, we can make next turn be whatever we want it to be. So it looks like our best bet is to Seek for Doom and Gloom Defend then play Doom and Gloom Defend. We deal 10. Uh, Gremlin Knob gains 
Six strength goes to 14. We block for five, so we take nine. Then next turn, we always draw dual cast the other Doom and Gloom. So I think that's our best line. Seek for Doom and Gloom defend. Take nine. Or can I seek double defend? No, I can't. Zyrag, thanks for the prime sub and five months of support. Do we even need to seek to win? Yes. If we don't draw two from this pile, the next turn we could draw pretty much nothing for damage and we could be ruined or at, at minimum forced to use the Swift Pot. Doom and Gloom Static Discharge. I guess that's equivalent. <clears throat> Double Defend Strike next turn. Doom and Gloom Dual Cast. That does seem better, right? Because that's 22. Yes, we could save two more health. That's the way to do it. Yes. Yeah, I, I think I was missing that we had... That is three energy, deal 22. Yes, we can do that. Seek boat defense. Take seven. That's not very good. Took a defrag, so this is good. Hopefully. We also just beat Gremlin Knob, so cool headed seems all right. Bottled Lightning. Okay, now that is a good relic. Boop. With Seek in hand on turn one in every fight, we will never brick a turn one. We will never miss Doom and Gloom immediately. We'll never fail to kill with a, a Gremlin on turn one with Sunder. Feels good. Yeah, that feels very good. I want Doom and Gloom Fusion. At least I sure hope so. Yeah, that's what I wanted. For sure. Beam Cell. Now we can seek Beam Cell Sunder on turn one. Every time. That'll kill a slaver, guaranteed. That's pretty good. Unfortunately, it won't kill a sentry on turn one. Although, maybe if I distilled Chaos and I can reduce one of them below 32 health by hitting Doom and Gloom, then maybe things would be okay. And I can improve the odds by Seeking first for two things that aren't Doom and Gloom. Dual Cast would be good to not draw here. Actually, wait. I can also just Seek for Dual Cast Doom and Gloom, right? True. But then I'd have to kill the middle one. Which I guess is fine. And then maybe I don't have to use the potion at all. Sounds like a win to me. hoping I'd see Reinforced Body here. Okay, now I'll use it. Good enough. That was a good elite fight. 
Bag of marbles. I mean, that is really good. With the bottled seek. Makes the beam cell a bit sad, but that's okay. Let's take one more cool-headed. I think the deck wants another source of frost here for later. And yeah, I think we're on track to fight that Burning Elite with uh, Bag of Marbles, Bottled Sunder. We can just, just chunk the knob on turn one pretty easily. And we have Swift Pot, in case that's somehow not enough. In the event that that is not enough, you will be chunked. I want to leap. I almost want to leap here. I think we've added enough cards, though, given our density. This rebound's not horrible. I'm going to skip this. I would like another block card, but I'd like it to be an upgraded block card neck, too. We do get another free remove. That's pretty spicy. I will dunk a strike. Hmm. Feels like this will go better if I set up stuff. See what chaos makes. Frost. Okay, give me Defragment Fusion, then. I can do Cool-Headed, Doom and Gloom, Dual Cast, then Sunder. That's too good to not do. Might also be able to zap here. Yeah. Excellent star. Full block with reinforced, or I can play the static discharge and do some more damage. I'd rather keep the frost, though. This is going well. Take a small amount. Then we can dual cast this. Guaranteed we can dual cast this and guaranteed we win. Cool. So take... Take three and win. Kunai. I like that, actually. If you play three attacks in one turn, gain a dex. Also, Buffer is here. Also, Defragment is here. Gotta say, Buffer, when you have a biased Seek, is really good. Never, ever take damage at the start of a fight. Claw is cute, but I don't feel like we have enough draw for that yet. What's my opinion on, on cards hypothetically getting multiple choices for upgrades in Spire 2? I would love to see that. Makes it tougher to design, because you have to balance the upgrades against each other, but would really like that. Upgrade buffer instead of defrag? I think so. Too many fights are just free if I play buffer plus on turn one. Including, potentially, this one. Although, I think I'm just going to play Sunder. Let's just play Sunder. There's one short. 
Play Fusion Reinforced. Not a bad idea. Maybe that should have been... Now we're good. Get transformed again, nerd. Bonk. Double fusion. The ultra fusion. Okay, that's fine. And this actually full blocks. Cool. Feels weird not playing any attacks there, but here we are. Bonk once again. That would mean taking a little bit of damage and losing the plasma. I think I should do it though. Take two. Bonk again! Note how much dexterity I have so far, by the way. <laughs> One off. Hey. What do you got? More frost. All right, I'm blocking. Good for me. There goes the Guardian. Let's lose the stinky smoke bomb, which we surely won't need. And surely we do tank Echo form here, right? Like, this is just objectively the best thing ever because we always seek for it on turn one. And therefore, it's always amazing. I'm so Cody. Thanks for the Prime sub in 29 months. Electroseek is cute, but I don't think we need the Electroseek because we have both Sunderseek and Double Doom and Gloom Seek with uh, Bag of Marbles here. So I really don't think we need Electro at all. Hmm. Sneko with Bottled Seek is a bit weird. This deck does really like Sneko Eye. Oh man, that's a good Sneko Eye. The Bottled Seek is not happy, but everything else is. Thunder is happy. Double Doom and Gloom is happy. Buffer and Echo form are happy. Fusion is really happy. The other stuff is just kind of garbage. Yes. Sometimes this means we can't Echo form on turn one. That's okay. Yeah, that's okay. The kunai is going to be actually useful with the Snekawai, too. I think it's very important that we get to a shop. Then we can evaluate. How many combats do I want? Combats seem good because they should be very easy to win. Let's find out. Yeah. Yeah, I would say they are easy to win. So when we seek with Snackawai, we get the cards at whatever their advertised cost is. So Beam Cell here is zero cost. And I guess I'll take... I don't know, dual cast? Is not Sneko 50-50 win rate? No, it's more like 95-5. It's not a coin flip. 
Don't think of it like a coin flip. Um, I guess I can just play this. You're not going to attack me again, you coward. Give me a self repair. Close enough. Yeah, close enough. Bird nerds. Thunder only does 24 damage, unfortunately. Dang. And I can't seek for strike. But I'm probably not killing anything with Sunder here. The only thing I can seek for is Beam Cell. Beam Cell should only do two. No need to use a potion here. We're not really taking any damage. Not an actual threat. Wait, what if I seek Static Discharge? Hold on. Is that brilliant? Then, then I would only take one. <laughs> I'm going to do that. Hello and welcome, Toby Doobie. We have only have two potion slots because of what are called Ascension Modifiers, or Ascension Penalties. Once you start winning the game, um, you'll be able to unlock Ascension Mode, which allows you to stack up to 20 individual penalties onto your run to make it more difficult. This is Spire's difficulty system. Here we play on Ascension 20, the most difficult mode in Slay the Spire. That means each run you have 20 different penalties that apply to you. Uh, and it's quite a doozy to try to win the game with all of those in effect. Let me tell you. Quite a doozy. Okay, I'm not afraid of you nerds. Though maybe I should be. We just go full blocking. Yeah, I take what, like two, if that? Three. Take three. Okay, we're at the center here. Double Doom and Gloom will clear them out, too. The Echo Form down. Here, just double sunder. Okay, a little bit of damage taken, but not bad at all. Three thoroughly underwhelming cards. I guess Compile Driver's not horrible. I guess Compile Driver's pretty good, actually. Let's take one Compile Driver. With the Kunai, I like it. With all these orb types, I like it. Here we see the downside to seek. Do Doom and Gloom Zap, though. And then, what does it matter if I can't send her turn one? Because I'm still a Sneko. But yeah, Seek is not uh, not doing it in this fight. But even with a Seek that we can't play, how does the fight actually go? The answer is, well, all of my cards are free, so... Sure seems like everyone's going to die here. Yeah, so yeah, is Sneko worth it, even though our Seek is ruined? Yes, definitely. Absolutely it is.
Would I buy a full price all for one at the shop? Probably. I would buy most rare cards for full price. Heck. <laughs> I guess I'll take that one too. Take another fusion. Oh. How do I feel about Hyperbeam? Eh, actually, I don't think I like it that much, but I do love Hologram. Everyone knows my love for Hologram with Sneko Eye. Thundial is quaint. I think I'd rather just remove a card. Thundial is pretty good, actually, with uh, Sneko. Frozen Eye, meanwhile, is less good with Sneko, because if we don't know what the cards are going to cost, it's a lot harder to plan our turns. How do I feel about paying for another Defragment? Pretty good, actually. How many upgrades can I get? Lots. Okay, yeah, I would be happy to buy another Defrag, actually. Do something like this. Yeah, I really like this deck with two upgraded Defrag. So I'm not taking that Frozen Eye. No, I am not. I have no strikes. Bites? Bites are kind of good in this position, but not when I have literally no strikes, right? No way. If I had three or four, I would take that. With Kunai and with Echo Form, they're very good. But no. Not here. No, thank you. This is the same, but I get an extra shop. I want to pop in for another remove. Not really. I can't quite afford a shop relic, right? Eh. I should have waited on the remove, actually, is what I should have done. Oh, well. We'll just go to the event. Upgrade this. Fight an elite. Ooh, spicy. Is that a gambler's brew? Sure looks like it might be. Yeah, that sure looks like a good time to gambler's brew. Maybe swift potion first, then if I have to also gamble, the gamble will be stronger. do that. Hmm, those are pretty good. Okay, so I can kill a gremlin and block for a bunch. That's probably good enough that we get to keep the Gambler's Brew. Rubem PD, thank you so much for the Prime sub in the 47 months. The well-fragmented disc. Discus. Compile, hollow, compile, defend, probably. Incoming will be 23, will block 13, take 10. That's not bad. Definitely not bad. Doom? Beam Doom. Again you attack me. Hmm. Unfortunately, I kind of need to play this Echo Form. So I think we go Echo Form, Reinforce Body. We block for 20, take 28, lose 8 more health here. That's not so bad. Knife's out with a Prime Sub in 10 months. Or I could take zero, don't play Echo Form, but I think that's a really bad idea. I think that's a really bad idea. 
seek here. Seek the stuff that was cheap. Nice. Okay. Three energy back. Now we're cooking. not attacking me again. Cool. The Tenia puzzle is yet more card draw. That's welcome. We could take a third Doom and Gloom. Is that... I think that's too many Doom and Glooms. I don't feel like I need three Dooming Glooms, even in a Sneko Eye deck. Grape is kind of cute. A bit weird. Say skip. I am hoping we find a card that lets us seek for Echo Form, even if it's three cost. That's, we're talking something like Aggregate, perhaps, or Turbo. Would give us a better chance at that working out. Turn one, just play Echo Form. Seems good enough, actually. Uh, turn two, a little questionable. Double Doom and Gloom? Double Defend, maybe. Double Defend. Okay, ouch. But also card draw. Buffering twice was also an option. One I chose not to take. Buffering once. Try not to take too much damage here. Um, we could seek for reinforce. That doesn't seem that good, though. What with this, I guess. There we go. Okay, reinforce is in hand. If I just compile reinforce, we're good. Deal 21, you gain 15, whatever. Now we kill you. Okay, not horrible. We are losing health steadily, but that's okay. We have lots of potential rest sites that we can use. I don't mind using one for a bit of health. I'm going to skip these, although heat sinks not bad. One, two, three, four, five. Get in here. Good with seek as well. Lantern is very good. That's going to help with the three cost seek problem as well. Good. All right, let's upgrade the other deep rag. Gonna kill the sentry with double doom compiled dual cast. No, Afromantis. Um, because the, or actually wait, yes, because then then it does have less health than the Spirit Guardian. I was having trouble with the the Dark Orb against the Spirit Guardian because it has twenty health and therefore. You have to lower the sentry below 20 to get the Dark Orb to target it. But actually, you might be right. If I did, did enough there, I could have killed it. 
Hmm. Noted. So, echo form reinforced. That sounds good. Nice. Hit me. Can't do nothing. I would love another glacier. Well, the second heat sinks is a little tempting. Definitely want more glaciers with all this frost. Maybe I don't need to rest. 28 health is not a lot, though, is the problem. It'll be a lot safer if I do rest, right? Yeah, way safer. Does static discharge trigger on buffered hits? No. Another fight, or do I want an event? Let's take an event. This could be like a uh, Coliseum or something. We haven't seen that in a while. We're kind of ahead on remove, so I will take Relic for Arrive. You get 10 max health. So our turn ones are more or less fine. Finally, Seek being nice and cheap here. So I'll do it this way. Boy, taking damage this turn. for this hit, which means I can play Echo Form, no problem. Good. Good. Less good-ish, but also kind of good. Can't hurt me. Sweet. No damage. Get a block pot. We get garbage. It's our final run today. It's definitely going to be our final defect run. They're is a chance for a non-defect run later on. Uh, that ancient potion could be good for much later in the run. I'm going to skip this block pot. I think these potions are very strong. ESQ Poe, thank you so much for the prime sub in 11 months. The Lazy Baker's Dozen. I like to call it the Dad's Dozen, as in Dad drank one on the way home. Or ate one on the way home. Depending on the item in question. Let's upgrade that hologram. It's a good upgrade with Sneko Eye. That's a good one. Okay, we can seek, but not for Echo Form, unfortunately. I do like seeking for fusion heat sinks and just playing those two. Let's do that. 
keep our vigor, as it were. Does 40 damage. No, it is better to do in Gloom first, though, right? Definitely. Then I can sunder you. <laughs> Seems like a good turn. Oh my. Is it ever? Heat sinks go. Heck yeah. And I can hologram. Recompile River and kill this fool. Brilliant. Eat that buffer. Cast is two cost. Heck that. That's too expensive, man. dexterity now. With the Echo Form and the Snekawai, we're finally using the Kunai. And it can do some pretty good stuff. That was great. Snack of oil? Actually, a pretty good potion here. Um, one of these cards seems good. Yoink. Meteor Strike, get in here. Very good card with Snack of oil. Possibly the most broken card in the whole game. Let's get that Snack of oil, actually. Three transforms with Pandora's box, busted crown, or tiny house. What? Options are bad. I guess I actually don't hate this busted crown. More energy is definitely welcome. We lose out on card rewards, but we already have most of what we need here, which is Kunai, Meteor Strike, Echo Form, Card Draw. Starting to want to maybe upgrade the cool headeds. I'll take it. I will take a busted crown willingly. We'll do it. We also gonna get to go to a few shops here. We'll do so immediately. For the purposes of removing Writhe mainly. We've already got our green key, so we have relative freedom with how we proceed here. I think fighting three elites is a good idea. Definitely. Is digging a noob trap? Often, yeah. Uh, skipping an elite fight, which gives you a relic and money and a card reward, to dig at a rest site, which only gives you a relic, is definitely a noob trap. Don't avoid the elites to go to rest sites and then dig. That's, that's not a winning play. Just ain't. Guess we could do Doom and Gloom Reinforced Body. I don't need to seek for anything, do I? No, I don't. Digging is, however, quite fun. Fun is nice. Everyone likes a good fun time.
bonk. Meh. That seems very good. Three extra orb slots. Seems mighty strong. Rainbow, almost not bad either, actually. This is either more energy per turn from more plasma orbs, or it's more block per turn because we have a million focus and frost. Either way, this is very good. I think Rainbow is a good card to add to the deck, but I don't think it's good to pay 153 gold for Rainbow. That's just too much. Dead Branch was also an option there, and Dead Branch has some potential, but we don't actually exhaust that many cards currently. Just the Seek, actually. In fact, just Seek. So yeah, we don't, we don't, hit, this is not very good. Let's lose the Rive and be on our way. Bonk. Yeah, we draw seven cards and I have eight energy. Seems powerful. Seems really, really powerful. A lot more energy than that, actually. Infinite energy. I did say I wanted a Turbo Plus so that we could seek for Echo Form, right? That's good. is actually good. And then what else? I'm just gonna be Sunder, maybe. Yeah, we can do Sunder, Echo Form, Fusion. Fight Depression with Chess, thanks for the Prime sub in 54 months of support. Thank you, thank you. More energy. Ten energy for the start of the turn. Please and thank you. Excellent. And then more. Things seem to be going well. Yes, not to be confused with the other user, fight depression with cheese. Two different people. Still waiting for a dad joke. Okay, here's a here's a defect themed dad joke for you. Does the defect have any brothers? No, only transistors. No refunds. Swish shut. Oops. Hope that was worth the wait. No. Uh, this way, right? Yeah, two elites better than one. Double orb walkers is a great find. I would love lots of money, and I would love a rare relic. These nerds should be easy. Could be. 
Hmm. Turbo being in my hand and three cost is kind of crap. Can't echo and buffer. Hmm. That's a little awkward. Reinforced is pretty good. Might be my best option. Try to get cheaper stuff next turn. Let's do that. Seek reinforced body and Cinder's Bane. Play Doom and Gloom to deal 27 damage to each. Block for 21. Take some damage, but get two lightning orbs and draw 10 for next turn. Wakarana, thanks for 18 months of support. Thank you, thank you. Ugh. That's bad enough to merit the Gambler's Brew, unfortunately. I was really hoping we wouldn't have to do that, but... Definitely yes, as we did not get our buffer. Buffer is the most important thing to... Or the Meteor Strike, mind you. All right, gamble everything, except for the heat sinks. Then we win the fight. Yeah, I have a zero cost meteor strike and life is good. No longer need the echo form, it's too late for echo form in this fight. Will I play the Against the Storm DLC? You betcha. Definitely. All right, we decisively win this fight. We're likely to get a new potion anyway. We do. We get a Dex potion. We also get a second chance at life, a Lizard Tail. Very good thing to have going into the late game. Or just going into the Repto fight. Oh, here we go. Talk about a good turn one, finally. Yeah. Echo form, zero cost. Meteor strike, zero cost. That's the good stuff. It's about time. I think I'm seeking for heat sinks and... Oh, I got a hologram, zero cost, too. So I can double meteor strike for free. Pretty nuts. Give me a dooming loom, then. Bonk. And a little bit of frost sounds good. I don't need that much energy. That's a great turn one. Let's go ahead and double buffer so I absolutely positively cannot take any damage here. Sounds good to me. Have I seen the book on chronology? It's about time. No, I've been reading a book about adhesives. I can't put it down. I'm really glued to the pages. Art of War seems good. Uh, and a healing potion also seems fine. Why do some of the daggers die after attacking and, and others don't? Here's how it works. Um, the daggers have a set attack pattern. The first turn they're summoned, they attack for nine damage and they add a wound. The second turn that they are alive, they attack for 25 damage and they perish. So any dagger that's attacking for 25 is also going to perish at the end of the turn. They only have a two turn lifespan is one way to look at it. Recall here, that was actually a decent spot to dig. 
Maybe I'll dig up ahead, but I think I'm just going to be upgrading full headed, right? Seems likely. Anything I'd like to seek for? Yeah, if I seek for turbo. No, it's in my hand again. Dang it, turbo. Why must you be this way? Well, then forget the seek. Let's to use this. We're good, though. All is well. die yet. So I got a bit more regen to take advantage of. Keep digging until we find ice cream. You know, I don't disagree with that. Ice cream would be good here. Preserved insect is fine, though. That'll help in Act 4 at minimum. Barrage is okay, but I think we can do better as far as attacks go. It's it's no Sunder. That's cool things with Akabeko, maybe, but not really. I wish I could take a White Beast statue. I cannot. Gotta take the blue key here. Thankfully, we already have some decent potions. Seek for Echo Form here. Oh, and if I seek for Turbo, we can even keep our buffer, I think. Or at least we can play Fusion. Yeah, we can play Fusion. Again, if I want. Another double D frag. Go to eight focus. Eight is a lot of focus. Ten block per frost orb. That's good anti heart defense. Especially with six orb slots, right? That's good. Damage Doom and Gloom. The power. Gold plated cables make our rightmost orb trigger an extra time. That's very, very good. I think we do want to upgrade these cool headeds. Rather than digging for relics. I think just adding more draw would be very powerful. Our main goal in this fight, don't get cursed by the stinky writhing mass, although I am going to play Meteor Strike for free on turn one. Nine by three, I can block that. Probably. Yeah, if I seek for turbo, we can definitely do it. A 
loads of energy. Ice cream would be good here. What do I think about uh, the lock-on status with Dark Orbs? It's pretty good. Lock-on is definitely a nice card when you're Dark Orbing it up. Wouldn't call Dark Orbs a major part of our damage, so I don't think I'd be eager to add it here with Sneko Eye, but it's definitely a good amplifier with Dark Orbs. Very powerful. Kill you with lightning. Good. Two more orb slots and an upgraded go for the eyes to apply weaken. Yes to weakening things. Even with Snekawai, I'm willing to pay energy to weaken the heart. We have lots of energy after all. And I think two more orb slots could make a huge difference in the heart fight too. So I'm pretty happy about that overall. Not so happy about our turn one here. It's all right. Gold plate of cables plus plasma is lots of energy, thankfully. Loads of energy. I like that the deck can make all four orb types, too. With these compiled rivers. This part's kind of neat. I got enough frost. What was Crown up against? Pandora's box with three cards and Tiny House. I figured the energy was better than those were. <laughs> <laughs> Yet another defrag does sound decent here. What even is energy? Spoon works with Seek. That's literally it. Okay, that's not a very good spoon. But yeah, I'll take another deep rag. And we'll save the remaining money for Act 4. Shackles could be an option. Could be. With one more shop coming up, though, I'm keeping my money. I don't think anything there was good enough. We'll upgrade that deep rag. We'll face down Tim. Okay, finally this worked out where I can just... Well, actually, I need to seek for buffer, it looks like. Sure looks like I'm seeking for buffer here. Guess I'll do that then. We buffing. Thank you. Play both of these. I can double the last one. Need focus now, though.
Bom. B Pilgrim with the Prime Sub in 11 months. Thank you. Thank you. Cap America with the Prime Sub in 21 months. You as well. Supercharge my Dark Orb, please. Doesn't even hurt me. Pathetic. GG, Tim. Deleted. One boss down. It's shaping up to be a good second boss, too. Um, I would like to save all my health. That would be really nice, actually. I guess I'll take Turbo Reinforce then. Might backfire, we'll see. Frost. Hello and welcome, Draca Elf. Apotheosis versus Hand Agreed from Niao. Both very good. I personally prefer the Apotheosis. Yeah, they're both really, really good. Ice cream would be good here. What I say is the most difficult boss of Act 3? Actually depends on your ascension level. I think on basic ascension or easier difficulties, then Donu and Dekka are the most threatening. They scale the fastest on their own. Uh, and they can really put pressure on decks that don't quite have it all together. But on the highest ascension level, once the bosses have all their unique penalties, I think Time Eater is the most threatening. Time Eater, because Time Eater is inconsistent, does effectively random stuff each turn, which makes them very hard to predict. Um, as well as penalizing the player's draw in a way that's very punishing. So I think high ascension Time Eater is definitely the most damaging, most threatening, the most problematic of all of them, for sure. Am I considering an upgrade to Chaos? No. Probably upgrade Cool-Headed again.
Although its random orb Janny is kind of nice. I'd rather just get more cards. No relics to set up at all. Okay, cool. Keep our good potions. We have perfectly full health. That's optimal. Can't get much better than that. Fight. Two thump, two thump, two thump. A deep pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room. Is this the heart of the spire, the source of all this dexterity? The source of all these cheap cards. Deal 2558. It's a big number for you. And yeah, I'm thinking we upgrade the cool headed here. Though the heat sinks is also acceptable, actually. Maybe heat sinks. Since I'm often seeking for that on turn one. What about this? What determines how much damage you deal to the heart there? It's your score of the run so far that determines it. It's all about that score. Ancient pot, huh? Or artifacts. Problem is, I've already got an ancient potion, so this really doesn't do much. This would block weaken against heart, right? I don't have ginger. Yeah, this would block weaken at this point, which is not very good. I'd rather just remove zap or something. Actually, I need Zap. I'd rather remove Defend. Huh. Or just buy a Reinforce. Second copy of Reinforce seems really good, actually. Yeah, second copy of Reinforce is very good. Much rather have that. We trust in Scrape? I don't trust Scrape at all. No, I don't trust Scrape even a little bit. I'm afraid. Seems good, then it discards your Echo form. Then it's not good. Hmm. Malkavia, thanks for the prime sub in 54 months. This is plus one. Speak fusion heat sinks. A reinforced body. Block 28. Take 5. Draw 10. Have lots of energy, lots of cards next turn. That sounds pretty good. I don't see a way to dispatch them this turn. We have all the powers that draw pile. Heat sinks is in play. That seems important too. Oh wait, I miscalculated though. We have one less energy than I realized. We take more. Um, that's less good. Lock twenty one. Take twelve, not five. Let's skip the fusion. Why that? Okay, no echo form in play this time. You 
fusion compile? We're not blocking very much right now. Maybe just compile. It's more like it. I mean, we don't not play Meteor Strike, right? That'd be foolish. It seemed like it hurts, though. Got Lizard Tail, though. I guess I don't mind losing a little here. Now we're talking. Return. How many powers do we have? We have a few. Not as many as I would like, actually. But yeah, we got a few powers. Definitely. Right, time for Spear to die. Or maybe not. was, thankfully. Alright, two voids, three burns. Spooky hand. plus block. Beams Ite. Ninety-nine block couldn't save the spire shield from taking a ton that turn. Now the fight is over. Not bad. We're missing a bit of health. We have a blue candle, which does largely nothing. I will take a machine learning for one more draw per turn and another power, though. Seems perfectly fine. We have 60 plus 40 health for the heart fight with an ancient potion and a potion of capacity. I would say our odds here are very, very good going into the heart. I'm not too worried here. I'm even less worried with a turn one zero cost echo form. Wouldn't necessarily call that a free win, but it sure is good. I guess we'll echo first here. Okay, two zero cost defrags. Those also get played. I'd prefer to double them, but I'm not gonna just not I'm not gonna not play them. We just want to be set up faster. That sounds great. There's no way I don't play these. Sounds like I want to go Glacier then. The Turbo Heat Sinks. There we go. Lots of Frost, too. Don't play this, I want the energy. Block the Vuln. Whiskey Slowdown, thanks for the prime sub. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club. That's a pretty dang good turn one. Why don't you just be weak forever? Death does hurt though, huh? Too bad.
Static Discharge here. Okay, looking good. Double defrag, definitely. No. See Meteor Strike. Seems is rather important. Once we start the turn with, well, some awkwardness here. No real trouble, though. Gotta focus on dealing damage now. Put this in play and draw some cards. Here we go. Almost capped damage there, that's good. These orb slots will uh, provide lots of power. I think we're doing well here. We can keep blocking for quite a while, too. But I'd say we have good time. Plenty of time. It's a little spooky. Only a bit, though. Oh, yeah, we're good. Loads of energy this turn. Weaken the stupid heart. block from a defend, apparently. Seems good. Unai has been really putting in the work here. like a GG to me. Sure does. Jay Dublinson, thanks for 32 months. Hit me up with the GG WP. GG well played. BG, Mr. Hart, this fight is over. We are once again victorious. GG. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next, and don't forget to follow on Twitch to watch the content live. Click the link in the description below.